Good morning everyone, so I'm out here in the middle of nowhere, going to be wiring up this beautiful oak framed building today that my client has constructed and um, so I'm going to be putting sockets and lights throughout but as you'll see inside it's um, quite a particular installation so it's going to be a fun one this. So I'll show you around, give you a little tour and show you what we're going to be doing. So this is the building and um, I'll show you inside. As you can see, it's quite an impressive structure. Beautiful oak frame, all handcrafted. And so obviously we want to have as little cables as possible visible. So everything's gonna be run on the outside. They've got this wooden um, paneling here like kind of ply boarding basically instead of plastering it they decided to just do this and it's quite a nice finish but what I'm going to be doing is putting in double sockets in places like this so I'm going to have to multi-tool out the holes for the double sockets and then on the other side we're going to run all the cabling so the back box will come out here we'll have to put some noggins in or something like that and then we're going to cable everything in armoured cable going to probably run the cables down and then under underneath here all the way around and we've got loads of uh, sockets to put in throughout the building so that's going to be the first task for the day is to go around and mark up all the sockets and then put the boxes in and then start terminating the armoured cables running the armoured cables in but inside lighting wise, we're just gonna have three hanging lights from the ceiling and everything's gonna be controlled by a Lutron uh, smart home system, the RA2 select system. They're gonna be these beautiful, fancy um, Dyson hanging lights that look like a little bit like a spaceship, these amazing LED lights. So we're gonna be putting three of those in, basically one up in that bay there, one up in the middle here and then another one, oh, try not to fall over, another one over there uh, hanging down in that bay and then under here I'm going to be running LED strip all the way along that's going to be covered so the LED strip will be in an aluminium profile underneath there again concealed but I'll give a nice bit of light and the same here just to give some light in these areas and then they're going to have lamps plugged into the sockets and things like that. Um, we're going to put a distribution board on the outside here. So we're going to put a metal cabinet on the outside. Main supply armoured is here already. Terminate that in and then a Hager RCBO board in the metal cabinet with a SPD in. And then all the cables will run out from, from there. Um, so in terms of lighting what I'm going to do is put the Lutron controls in that enclosure as well and then run individual cables out from there to each individual set of lights as there's only five so it's only five lighting cables that I need to run in but getting the cables up to there is going to be quite tricky what we're going to have to do is run actually above and then drill down and then I'm probably going to put a metal conduit loop in box just to contain terminate the armoured cable into and contain the connections and then the light fitting itself will hang down from there. So it's going to be a bit of fun to do it nicely and smartly but the idea is this building is going to be absolutely beautiful um, and it's basically going to be a music studio so very nice luxurious music studio um, and he's doing it as a bit of an experiment so that if it goes well he can actually repeat this and possibly um, sell the idea to other people and build them for other people. So I'm going to get cracking now and start running and um, marking up my sockets and running in some cables.
So we're getting there little by little. It's quite labor intensive because each box I have to cut out in the chip, uh, the ply board on the other side with a jigsaw has to be absolutely pristine. No little nicks of, uh, of wood or anything like that because it's the finished surface on the other side. Uh, but so far I've got quite a few of these boxes in now. I've got a double there and a single for a data point. Another double there, another double there, another double there. And uh, you can see inside here. So these are the, the various sockets. I've got another one there, another one there. I've got one more to put in the corner there. I've just got to move those wooden um, oak uh, window frames out of the way. One more in there. And then I've got one more there and one more in the corner to do. And then that's all the boxes downstairs. And then I've just got some upstairs to do as well, either side of the window, a double socket either side of the window. Um, both ends and then cabling so I'm going to show you how I'm going to run the cabling in so the DB is going to be mounted on here and it's like an external metal enclosure with the DB inside it's a bit like a meter box basically and then out of there I'm going to come and drill through the corner here and then run along here and then loop up into each socket, out, along, drill through the wood here. And the cables are just going to be clipped in the corner all the way along like this, in and out. Then here I've got to do something a little bit special because I've got to get under this oak step. So I've got to drill at an angle down like that, come out under the step, and then clip the cable along under the step so it's not visible. Then here... Again, angle to get under the step so it's not visible, and then clipped along and in and out all the way around. And what I'm thinking, I'm doing it in four mil SWA, but what I'm thinking is to divide the building up into two radials. So I'll do one radial for this side, 32 amp, and then the same for the other side, so that it's actually got two um, sets of sockets two separate circuits so if one trips then there's another one that's still in place so i'll just divide the building in half basically and run one radial on this side and another radial on that side when it comes to marking up the boxes for the sockets i've made up this little jig which gives me exactly the right height that i need so all i need to do is put it against the wall like that i've got a line here in the middle so i can measure that to center to get it in the center of this section get a level on it make sure it's level and then that is the right height so it's 15 centimeters from the oak beam here to the bottom of the socket so I've already got it at the right height there and then all I need to do is draw a pencil line around it and then that's exactly in the right marked up and in the right place that I want it these I the jig that I made is slightly smaller than a normal metal back box because the idea is that the back box can't go through the wood it only needs to rest on the back of the wood because of the cable entries and stuff like that. Otherwise, it goes through the wood. We won't be able to get the armoured cable glands in. Um, and he wants the holes to be as small as possible to avoid any gaps or anything like that when it's finished. So this is a bit of a tricky one because it's a double. And obviously, this space is just too narrow to get a jigsaw in. I won't be able to turn it or, or anything. I just can't get it in um, for the angles that I need. So what I've done is drilled the holes out in the corners. I score around it with a Stanley knife so that it doesn't um, flick little bits off. And then at the other side, I'm gonna use the jigsaw to actually cut through. Because there is space out here to actually use the jigsaw. So I've marked the lines up here between the holes so that I get nice straight lines. And then I'm just gonna cut it now with the jigsaw. Ready to rock.